We are continuing to celebrate remarkable women in our community. Yeah, so we take a look at the remarkable work of Laura Shagnon with Massapeel host Alana Flood. We are honoring remarkable women in our communities in preparation for International Women's Day. I am pleased to introduce Laura Shagnon. Laura, you have overcome so many adversities to become a published author and a motivational speaker. Please share with us how this all started. Well, this all started um, when one night I had an idea. I was with my soulmate, Tom, and I had an idea that I would like to um, speak in prisons. And um, so that Tom made that happen. He said, I'll make it happen, and he did. Why was it important for you to speak to this population? I don't know. It just, I think God told me to do it because I, I, it just popped in my head one morning out of nowhere. Now, you've suffered a, uh, an, a big adversity in life. I'm wondering if you can share that with us. Yes. Um, I witnessed um, a traumatic brain injury in a, in which led me to have a TBI, traumatic brain injury. And you were able to take that traumatic event and change it into a really inspirational movement. How were you able to do that? It wasn't as hard as you think it was. Um, I just felt very strongly um, my faith. My faith helped me do it. What inspired you to become an author? Oh, my, my love for writing. I, I always, since I was a little girl, I um, loved writing. And that's it. If you had one message to give people who were struggling with a major adversity, what would that message be? That would be, go forth, follow your dreams. I had a dream to become a published poet, but I had adversities. I couldn't see the written page. I couldn't even write upon the page, but I had faith, and that saw me through. Laura, thank you so much for joining me today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.